All right, guys. Just dug that 1910 Weedy. It was a 1910. I cleaned it up. Um, that was actually right there. I just buried it. Or the, not the coin, but the hole. It was right next to it. A little bit downhill, so maybe the wash, maybe a coin spill, but man. That's sounding real nice. So... Oh, let's make sure there's nothing over here so I could put some dirt over there. Oh, no cross contamination. Wow, so that's pretty cool. That was actually the first coin I've dug out here. Still have yet to dig a silver. But like I said, we found one here on the surface. Oh, and I know you're cringing with this shovel, but oh well. Dirt it is white poofy dirt and it just sticks to you. Oh, and I bet you that's the culprit right there. Old piece of can. Check the hole. Check the dirt. Yep. All right. Well, you win some, you lose some. Let's keep looking. I'll leave the shovel there for now. Well, that just goes to show you, <laughs> amidst, amidst all this trash, I mean, just to give you an idea, I mean, there's stuff everywhere. This thing found that penny. that slaw out of the way and it's still ringing. Oh, not a good sign. That is... I believe... a piece of can. Yeah, that's it right there. You guys have you, why not? I mean, what a better place to metal detect. And this is a well-traveled spot. I mean, a car just drove by. This is by no means a secret spot. There's the foundation over there. Hit that back up here in a second. Found the penny right down in there. So just to show you again, I don't know what videos are gonna go up. This is the old narrow gauge railroad berm right here. And that's basically what we followed all the way up this way. So that's south, this is north obviously. Um, we got the Sierra Nevada, White Mountains, and the narrow gauge goes all the way down to uh, Owens Valley and Owens Lake uh, where we started our journey. So I don't know what this location was used for. I mean, it being right on and some pretty rocks out here too. Mineralization in that. Um, yeah, I don't know what this building was used for, but I'm just to give you an idea. Find them. Let's see, that's the penny. Let's put that in that pocket. Well, I had a piece of pottery. Oh, here it is. Nothing special, but I mean. Wondering what was going on out here. I mean, you could see the, uh, I know people are saying, don't dig with your detector. But you can see some of the glass, purple glass mason jars.
Yeah, I'm finding a lot of lead uh, modern bullet jackets as well. But it's helpful getting used to the machine, listening to those Ferris and non Ferris. See, now I'm, it's almost bittersweet I found that coin because <laughs> I wanted to leave. But hey. I mean, nobody in the right mind would detect this, right? So, again, I've detected this spot, but run it over the wall. I was against some interesting targets in here. So this is actually a hole I dug a long time ago. Yeah, it sounds a little bit different with that discrimination all the way up. Oh, and I have flipped that rock over, don't worry. Actually, I think that rock was in that hole. That's a nice dime hit right there. That sounds pretty darn good if it's not a chunk of metal. All right, let's see. So it's reading... Yeah, right in there. That's a good hit. Let's see. Oh, it's on the surface. That's not a good sign. Still there. Oh, there it is. I'll show you. Just a piece of lid. See, I started something over here yesterday. Hmm. Well, I guess it's shotgun shell. I guess it's kind of good that I'm not getting the hits now. The way I tweaked the machine versus yesterday. So that means there's pretty much that's that can. Hmm. All right, that's reading four inches. Oh, there it is. Oh, cool. I'll take it. It's actually an older shotgun shell. A little larger brass. Remington UMC number 12 arrow. That's cool. I'll keep it. Why not? Only because it's from the site. Why not? Put that in this pocket away from the coin. I'm going to scratch that coin up. Get a mint off of it later I actually didn't even see a mint to be honest hmm all right might go get the shovel for this one I guess this is some great I love this dirt dig away <laughs> dig a foot down with my shoe oh is that it or is that a rock oh it's a coin look at that i just live dug it that's a penny oh it's another weedy let's flip it over See it too, a little older. Nice. 1920. 
1920D. <laughs> Zero in the 20 almost looks like a P. That's interesting. Wow, I'll take it. That's cool. Two two coins. Uh, both of them live, Doug. All right. Get a picture of that one later. I'll take it. And so, yeah, so that was underneath the can. That's why I took those targets twice. All right. I was right out, right on the doorstep. Makes you wonder what's under these bushes. was on top there which means it's either junk oh there it is right in front of me yeah just to show you guys a uh, modern bullet all right i'm not saving that and i'm not taking trash with me guys obviously that's kind of cool yeah Makes you wonder what that was used for, or just wound up for. <laughs> Getting toasty, but. Oh, I like this, guys. Looks like we have a couple targets, maybe one. Four or five, six inches. And there it is. Shotgun shell. Rusty, so it's not that old. Let's check it again. Yeah, sorry for my shadow. And slow. It's funny, I've <clears throat> detected the sight a couple times now. And uh, compared to a lot of the other places, Not a lot of surface finds, if you will. Or I took them already. Which is a strong possibility. I actually think I saw myself kick over a coin right now, like a penny. That's cool. Didn't expect to. I hope to find coins. Didn't expect to find two, but come on, there's pennies. 1910, 1920. <laughs> Give me a dime or a quarter. And those were buried. The quarter was on the surface. Alright guys, well I'm gonna pause this video or end this here for a second and come back to you later. 
keep on digging, head out of here. I'm actually headed back down to Independence. Do some camping one last night. Decided to stay one more night. All right, come back to you guys later.